I think we've achieved validation at CPC now in a way that we have an opportunity to now expand our role in helping drive efficiency to the industry. We needed to educate the industry, educate technology, bring those two perspectives together because they've always been separate and isolated from one another. This idea of USB and analog plugs you know, coming through gears is a really great way of explaining both to those that come from software and technology and those from industry to get on the same page of how do people want to work and collaborate together now that we have all these options through technology. The first real use for Rivet as a CDX connector was a new Forma and Procore connector. HDR is a multidiscipline, globally operating firm, about 12,000 staff. I work with our professionals, practitioners, to evaluate the technologies and help them find the best fit. We've got partners everywhere and, and engage with lots of technology, you name it, and we've probably got it. It's been a pretty transformative process for us with our teams being able to integrate in, in better and, and more advanced ways with our project information management tool, Geneforma, and our contractor partners tool, which is Procore. Procore has 400 different apps on that marketplace. A lot of the apps that people use to say, hey, I personally have these two systems. I want to connect so I can reduce double entry from my accounting system to my project management system. But the Newforma integration is one of the first that is one of those externally connected apps. It allows us to receive RFIs from the contractor's environment that comes right into our space. We look at it there and we say, yep, we accept this. We still own the data. We still get to say when we receive it. It doesn't just flood our inboxes and say, here, here you go. So we receive it, we validate it, we process it the way we need to process it with the people that need to be involved. And then we, in a timely manner, get it back to them. When we start to look at this internal versus external trend, it's definitely one of the most used apps. There has to be a lot of trust when you're connecting data externally. You can't just connect one system to another system with an API if you're talking about different companies, different stakeholders externally. You have to have that third party intermediary gear to be able to do that. Talking about this with the industry and understanding you know, the shared pains, shared gains concept is to see where we might see advancements beyond just the connection between these two technologies. We've got all these different systems. We've got Procore, we've got Trimble, we've got Autodesk, we've got Bluebeam and, and Newformo that are all going to represent different stakeholders. They're going to be a, a project management solution for an architect or an engineer or a contractor. Every spoke is a connection that we make between our platform and an application or a system that a construction company is using to run the business. And that data being moved is something that we are not fearful of and that we actually can understand where that data is going and, and trust that it is going where we expect it to be going and shows up when we need to see it. We can talk all day long about how much data there is in the industry. It's clear there's a lot, but I think what there's also a lot of is, is waste. And so the amount of waste that we experience but maybe don't measure is profound. If you have no other way to do it other than to manually manage that via Excel, um, but to have connections to the data in, in ways that um, move it with as little effort as possible is, is important. We are dealing with software companies that compete with one another and there are going to be some uncomfortable conversations around what is the new landscape for competition. Bringing the, some of the biggest technology companies together that are in the construction technology space to help solve common problems for the industry was really appealing to Trimble and really interesting to me. Uh, and I wanted to be a part of it. CPC is really critical in providing that customer trust in this integration. CPC is great just to help build that trust of hey, this is something the industry needs. This isn't new former or Procore saying this is what you need. Now we can establish criteria on proving that the integrations are doing what we said they need to be. A bucket of data means nothing. But if you get it curated into the small portion that you need, then it becomes useful. The CDX connector is a great example of what CPC can influence and ultimately get into production for the betterment of the industry. And I think technology stack of today that our customers are using reflect the state of the industry. It's not gonna be something that's gonna be able to flip over a couple years. 
If we don't get better at measuring the data of the waste that we're creating, we're never going to actually solve it. The amount of time that we save with a connector like this, it feels like you know, it's only 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it's 15, 20 minutes on a submittal review or an RFI processing the administrative burden to minimize that, to make it more manageable. There's a clear savings in time when we do this across thousands of projects. Every time a contractor wants to send something to a distributor, that distributor's ERP has to be connected to us. And that creates sort of a multiplying effect on the number of ERPs you're going to have to connect to. And what Rivet does is it accelerates that. We can start to connect more of our solutions together quicker and deliver more value to our customers. These are not easy problems to solve and the smartest person in the room doesn't usually have the answer. We have to be more connected, more open, and it drives everything from the top down. And in construction in particular, we know that we have to be driving interoperability and extensibility into partner ecosystems if we're going to be successful. There was definitely a question in the room as to will Trimble acquiring Rivet change the, the path for Rivet as an open solution. We want Rivet to be something that our partners and maybe even people you would think they're competitors we want them to know and trust that we're committed to using that, that technology for the betterment of for the industry on a whole, not just for Trimble. We want to openly share data back and forth with external stakeholders. Without the CPC, it'd be a lot harder. A standard is how you're supposed to do it. A certification is you did it the way you said you were going to do it. So CPC is very much about uh, promoting certification and being a certification arm, but the standard should be a National Institute of Building Sciences standard or an AIA standard or all these other organizations that have standards that exist. NIBS is something I've been involved with for quite a, a few years and currently the, the chair of the National BIM Council and working with great resources and connecting with people in the industry like CPC and making sure that we can build partnerships. The better that we can you know, come together and use magnets or visual cues to better communicate, I think we can all move forward that much faster. We want to see advancements in how we connect to our partners and how we can engage our partners more effectively in ways that, that serve our clients better and being able to make better decisions about what we've done in the past. Conversations with companies like Procore, Autodesk, Esri, even Newforma, those are all increasing. And it's exciting to see the market move towards this philosophy. This can't be done without a collective aggregated effort. The same uncomfortableness and the same competitive nature that is why you would think that an organization like CPC can exist is exactly why it needs to exist.